<laughs> All right, good morning. This is proper old school. I have just been to the gym for workout, so <laughs> um, the reason I'm just gonna stay like this is I'm in to check a renovation on the Saturday morning and I'm off to the salvage yard, which is really great fun. Um, so I am hand-holding, selfieing this video so that you guys can just have a look at uh, quite an interesting renovation. So if I go behind, um, this is one of the rooms. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and um, the thing today is really thinking about how do your builders work? Because I think it's quite easy as a property developer to actually... Um, get so caught up in your own needs it's difficult sometimes to think about other people's needs because being a property developer it's actually kind of I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to say it's stressful but you've got a lot on your head you've got taking a lot of risk and sometimes you don't necessarily always think about your team members so here in quite a severe development as you can tell I mean look you know we actually took out the whole floor of one property of um, of one of the floors because it was absolutely rotten the important thing here for the guys is how on earth do they run this as a building site and yet renovate it as a domestic home? So what you want to watch when you're working with a good building firm is one of the things that's really important is that they're actually really well organised. So let me show you their working room. This is my kitchen, or it's going to be. But look, because it's um, a grade two listed property, they're full of sand and cement. There we go, they got all their kit there, and oh look, we got a concrete, oh, they could forgive my videoing there, a <laughs> concrete mixer in my kitchen. Um, but actually it's really important, isn't it? They need to have some kind of working space uh, and remain actually pretty organised uh, and pretty tidy every single week in order to use some kind of room as working in order to then work from the top down. So a very good builder. Do you know what? Let's just do the whole thing. This is proper old school. I'm holding it and there's no camera, there's no microphone and I'm completely in gym gear. So what these guys are doing, and it's um, you really want to be working with quite experienced builders, is they're working from the top down. This is a four-storey house. It's grade two listed, so we've got to work within the conservation requirements. So hence sand and cement, and uh, like we've got lime plaster, which is done at the top. But what they're doing is they're using the base, the well, it's not really the basement, but the bottom floor as their work, and they've actually asked me to do the first fix, which if you remember is where we're going to put the lights, where we're going to put the sockets, where we're putting all the, the bathrooms and stuff, um, on the first three floors, but they just don't even want to know about the kitchen. Even though I keep bringing them really nice, um, really nice kitchen brochures and going, I really like that one, can you do that one? They're like, Susanna, it's months away. But if you start coming up, you start seeing, okay, we're getting a little bit better. Well in my world and, and again I just want to show you something as simple as that okay why am I showing you a pile of sawdust because it shows you that the builders are tidy when you are looking to work with a set of builders weirdly one of the most important things you can see is that they are tidy and they look after the job and um, because when you've got uh, trades coming in you've got plasterers and chippies and uh, plumbers coming in and they're all kind of like jostling for space if you haven't got somebody that manages the site and says, we're keeping this site really tidy, what's gonna happen? They're all gonna fight. Because, you know, the untidiness means that the plasterer has, has got some, you know, crap in his plaster and it's not smooth. Here we go. This is, the, this is one of the storage rooms. So this is quite low down at the moment. So they're not working on this room yet. But as we go further up the house, oh, and here's another storage room. <laughs> You can see it's a bit knackered, can't you? I mean, I'm having a blast. I've just delivered a 1950s chandelier to this house, which I'm sure the lads are gonna really love me for. But as we go further up, it starts to become a half done uh, building project. This is the floor. We had to entirely take out this floor because it was completely rotten. There was absolutely nothing left. And for those that aren't maybe particularly familiar, I'm just gonna show you what a first fix is starting to look like. Very exciting for those that know everything about a property. Um, here we go. Now that is the back end of some sink taps and here, let me get this, forgive my old school video, but I am just trying not to fall down on the floor. Um, here we go. That's the beginning of a, a shower and if we go down here, here we have the beginnings of toilet 